An update dropped that life simulation modders and lovers of mods have been waiting for. You're going to want to watch until the end because there's a lot to cover with this reveal. In the life simulation community, modders have created masterpieces with limited tools. Now, what could modders make with the Live by You creator tools? Or as I'm calling them, the Modder's Paradise Tool Suite. This tool suite is not just for intense modding either. There are levels, you could say. We have the tweakers who love to add a custom little touch to their game, like quick editing dialogue, a couple fun traits, and things like that. Then there's the storytellers who want to bring their tales to life and enjoy it either for themselves or create some of the most unique, inspiring, and wild series we have ever seen in the life simulation so far. And that's saying something because we have a very creative community. I can already tell we are not ready for it yet. Not only that, storytellers would be able to bring an interactive experience to their creations by letting us play them. This is big because maybe some non-gaming writers might try Life by You as a new medium for their work. And I hope that target audience gets included in Life by You's marketing strategy as it would benefit the community and the game. Then there's the roleplay gamer who focus on custom challenges, quests, gameplay and collectibles. The architect who focus on all things build mode and customizing the functions of objects and lots. I could go on and on. It's for so many types of players. From what I could see, it looked quite user-friendly. The comfortability may vary for those who feel overwhelmed by all the choices. However, there were quite a few players saying that they never modded, but looking at the ease of the creator tool, they would give it a shot. Based on the video, the built-in content creations at the time of pre-early access are at 19,150 creations followed by plenty of modding divisions. I believe I counted 38 sections, animations being one of them. So being able to link certain animations to your custom interactions, that would make sense. But also, are we saying there is a possibility to enhance and or add animations built in? And what is creative projects? <laughs> I need to know. Also, a while back, they spoke about how DNA can affect genetics, but had more to it. So maybe DNA ranges is the culprit? Sounds has come up a couple times. I saw it in the lot creator. There's a tab for it. And then now we can see that we have access to soundscapes and possibly triggering sounds. That is so smart and useful. I know I'm skipping around because I want to deep dive into my thoughts on things by collective topics in future videos. If you would like to keep up with my Life by You updates and content, make sure to follow for more. Let's talk about the Level Up Script Editor. It has a visual drag and drop style that can be found in no or low code game and app builders in the market today, which makes for high level of options while still being user friendly. I'd like to note that there is certainly forward thinking language in their labels, like human interaction. Interesting. What other interactions are planned? Now, I'm not defaulting to a cult, and I don't need a cult to be added to be satisfied. Look, I love fantasy. I'm a fantasy writer. However, I am aware that I'm playing a whole new game that has its own progression that it can go on, and I'm fully open to a new experience. I was thinking more animals, technology, and inanimate objects maybe? Again, we have those RPG vibes with add inventory item. Use cases say you reach a certain level from doing quests or your challenges and you level up and gain a special item or object the human can use to further their skills. We caught a glimpse at conditional traits. I talked about something similar, which is temporary emotional states in a past video. I will link it in the description as well as at the end of this video. 
So there is a trait properties tab that allows customization of primary and secondary needs. Along with that, it has tags, inherited, suppressed, supporting, and opposing traits. This could set up for intricate personalities, which is something I would like to see. I want to witness actual differences between humans versus having these labels and there isn't any difference in their behavior, the gameplay, and the game's replayability. So far, change is on the horizon. They have search bars and filters to help with navigation. I can see our selection really growing over time, so it will be necessary for us to have those. Rocio, the community manager of Life by You, mentioned that tags are great for organizing traits. And I like that they took things further than just sorting which life stages a trait is for. It goes well beyond that to label it as a attitude or lifestyle type of education or family, just naming a few. And again, I caught a tag similar to human interaction named human trait and a curious one called loot table. Within the functions tab, there are script states to control what effects take place once a human receives a trait, when a trait is lost, and even when it's renewed. I love having renewal script conditions. This way, there is the ability to have a response and notification more fitting for this conditional trait happening again. It would be less believable with storytelling if it had language that fits experiencing being tipsy for the first time when it's your human's third. I'll be covering a few more things in a second, but if you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure to like the video and share your thoughts about this update in the comments below. After getting a peek at how in-depth customization can be, have some of your worries about life by you eased? Let me know. We can control how long temporary states last and whether emotions are affected. I like the little emojis that represent them, which look to be the same ones that are next to your human's photo in the game mode. I know I say looks to be, seems to be, and it's because I want to keep it in a speculation type of way because again, I am not the creator of these games. I'm just using the things that I collect over time, right? But I still feel 99.9% .9 sure. Now, there was a question that I was discussing with another player about hangovers that has now been answered based on what we know. There are different types of drunks, right? We could be able to make happy, emotional, angry, flirtatious, bold, or even inspired types of drunks in Life by You. And now that I'm thinking about it, even how those types of drunks interact with each other and others. Also, did anyone else peep the death interactions? Was it just a rumor that they weren't going to be including things like death in this game, or is that the case for Paralyzed? Leave a comment if you know. As they've already been working on the younger life stages, I did see baby interactions as well. And there is a pretty specific bus driver interactions, which made me ponder about how public transit works. Probably a simple thought, but it's coming from being used to workarounds that comes with rabbit hole systems. <laughs> oh, and there is an ability to add a game memory. Game memory. It has me wondering if beyond just individual human memories that larger scale events can be tracked and recalled. Lastly, a quick little note. <laughs> Rocio added the fan fiction genre to the writing and I thought that that was really cute and that's definitely a must. But shouldn't fantasy be a default skill? I was looking, I didn't see it. I mean, minor, but yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. I appreciate you making it to the question of the day, which will be, what mod would you like to play in Life by You? If you're hungry for more Life by You deep dives, click the video on the screen right now. Enjoy!